In excess, a wave of mystified seemed like a good choice of song because the boys were singing along to it. Um, good evening, how are we? Hello. Hello. Good. Hello. Good. Good. We are superb. Sorry. Thanks for having us. I should really have turned that screen around so I can see you all because I've got them all in the way. But yeah, they're fine. <laughs> good job, most of you at all. Um, right. First of all, how did you guys meet? So, Clint and I went to school together. So we've known each other thirty plus years, I yeah. think. Um, right. And we were actually in a school band. A rock, heavy rock band. Psychosis. Psychosis. What yeah. a name. Oh, yeah. what a name for a rock <laughs> band. Psychosis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, I think probably music's been like the core of our friendship over the years, yeah. isn't it, really? Um, and then we were in a band. Yep. And uh, we sort of parted company with uh, our singer. And then literally a couple of days later, I was at a party. Oh, at uh, Tesco's party down at uh, Margate Football Ground. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, good old Margate uh, Football and, Club. And uh, D- Dane was singing. There was a bit of karaoke on. Yeah, well, there's a couple of people, yeah. Someone said, oh, go and go give it a go, because this, this is a bit of a drain. So I went, I went up there, started singing, old place shut up and turned around. And I was like, oh, OK, I'll carry on. It weren't because Margate scored a goal, was it? <laughs> no, <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 it don't no, happen no, 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 Who's that god-awful guy on the mic? <laughs> Sorry. No, and then, um, yeah, Andy's gold, partner, gold, really? who was a manager at the time at Tesco, Sarah, she um, literally just dragged me across the dance floor. Uh, you two next. need to talk. Yes, I, I had to talk to you, and then, uh, yeah, you said, how do you feel like being a band? I went, eh, no, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, just come down, come down for rehearsal and see what you think, and then after that, like, uh, yeah. You came and recorded yeah. a few songs, didn't you, just before Christmas? No, nice. I, I sent them over to the guys and went, this is our new singer. And that was, that's how it all started. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you been together then, in total? Like, well, I, I suppose a long while from school, but as a band, Neon Rush, how long have yeah. you been? About three... No, it's longer than that. Three and a bit, three and a half. We've been going three years live. Now. Probably 18 months to two years before Covid. Because yeah. Covid... Don't really, argue, guys. We kind, of forged, we kind of forged in Covid, I think, weren't yeah. we? Because yeah. like, we, we were all shut down. We were sort of, you know, Zoom calling and finding some software online where we could all kind of like plug in and jam together and yeah. play together and yeah you might have seen me in, in the woods dressed in a tiger outfit doing a music video at there the is time. a video yeah, somewhere yeah it was that yeah. time when everybody was doing like the montage silly videos. things yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't sorry can't hit me from the, the cats are all going see you later <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right so obviously i take it that did you say something david no, go on, <laughs> take it you are all local then yeah yeah we're all yeah. based uh, oh, westgate, westgate margate yeah, yeah. Fanny, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we rehearse in Westgate. We've got a little studio in the back garden. Neon right, Lounge. Uh, the neon in lounge. the back garden? Yeah, I built, we got fed up with paying studio time, so I built one in the back garden. Do you get on uh, with the neighbours? Well, it's soundproofed. So, oh, uh, fair it's enough, soundproofed fair enough. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Start, yeah. I won't carry on with that conversation <laughs> then. But I've noticed on your playlist for tonight, I'm not going to reveal any more, what you've done so far is all 80s, and what you're going to do afterwards is all 80s. So, why the 80s? This is a, quite a funny story. We spent about a year trying to figure out what we were going to be. And we, we tried lots of different things. We recorded some of our own songs. And I, I was playing a couple of the demos to a friend of mine in the car after we'd been out to the pub. And he said, it's fantastic. He said, he makes everything sound like it's from the 80s. Uh, he does. You're right. So we, we literally, we put together 100 80s songs. 100? 100. We auditioned them via karaoke. Oh, that was a hard night. <laughs> and it, it, we did it over four weeks, and it was very, it, dem- it was very democratic. We all, we all sat there with our little <laughs> jotting pads, and we marked the ones that we liked, and we ended up with 25 songs, and that pretty much was the start <clears throat> of Neon Rush. But that wasn't how it was going to be, because you, re- you two originally wanted to be a neon, uh, not a neon, a, a Pink Floyd tribute act. Yeah, you? yeah, we, we toyed with the push idea. You pushed me towards it. I wasn't Dane was enough for that. I think, right. we, I think we've got about three or four yeah, three, three or four songs now, in the... Yeah, it's slowly taking over, isn't Yeah, it? we're slowly <laughs> becoming... Yeah, so a couple of years, yeah, that's what we'd be. <laughs> so, so Dane was outnumbered, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yes. That way. Yeah, although it's always <laughs> difficult when the singer says, no, I'm not singing that, because it, it just becomes an instrumental. Yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so social media, if the guys want to get out of you, the li- listeners want to get hold of you, any pubs, clubs, what's the best way of getting hold of you? We are on Facebook... Uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and it's all at Neon Rush Band. Brilliant, at Neon Rush Band. So there you go. If you want to get older, the guys for any gigs coming up. First gig. Can you remember where your first gig was? What it was and how it, it went? was. We were. It was a baptism of fire. Uh, we were booked at the Who's Are in Garlinge yep, for their opening yep, night. Well, Shout yeah. out Dave uh, and Michelle. And, yeah. and it, uh, the Dial were originally booked to do the evening slot and they asked us to do the daytime. And we were like, oh, we're not really a daytime band, but we'll do it because it's our first public gig. What, are you gig. scared of the light then? Or? Yeah, yeah, well, we, our live things. show, we've got lights yeah. and well, smoke we, oh, and right. lasers, lasers everything. everything. Yeah. So, we'd, so we, we took the gig and then about two weeks later they got in contact and said, 
we've had a bit of a mix up with the diaries the dial can't do the evening slot are you right to do it and we were like yes yeah we'll do it yeah <laughs> and then it literally we turned up we'd never played before in a pub the pub was rammed i mean yeah, they, their capacity that. was 160 and they were yeah. beyond that yeah and uh <laughs> we uh we told them at the end of the night it was our first gig that we'd ever played at and they were like they, they were well they booked us probably seven times that yeah. year didn't they I think yeah. so yeah that was where it all started for us mm. live oh. um, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. So yes. if, you had, if you had any nerves we didn't have a chance to happen no, no, no. We didn't have a chance <laughs> so, right. no so you've got I must admit yeah listening to you tonight I don't think you've got any nerves at all anyway have you or we, we, we work hard we practice hard we, we yeah. joke that we rehearse more than we play live and that's the that's the reality that's, of it. that's yeah. the key to it, isn't it yeah. really at the end of the day right so future gigs I spoke to you earlier you said you're pretty much you're booked up for the year so yeah which is brilliant but you've got some gigs coming up yeah we're at the Westgate Social Club on the 20th of July um, it's always a fantastic night in there it's kind um, of our home turf, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just, just get there early because it, it fills up. Yeah, we do hit the capacity in that one quite often. Uh, then the next day we're at the Tollbridge over in Sandwich. That's a new venue for us. We've not played there before, so we're looking forward to that. That's a two o'clock uh, start, and then we run into apparently playing on a boat. <coughs> possibly, yeah. Apparently, it's not the biggest of venues, so <laughs> they might, might be sticking <laughs> yeah. us on a boat and pushing <laughs> us out <laughs> into the tower. <laughs> um, yeah, if we're no good, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and then we've got we've got a little bit of time off, and then we hit Folk Week. Um, we've got three, oh, you're doing Folk Week? Three dates in Folk yeah, Week, yeah. So. In pavilion, aren't you? Yeah, Broadstairs. Sunday, Sunday uh, we're at the Pavilion in Broadstairs. It's outside, weather, weather permitting, it's a fantastic night. We did it mm. last year. The place was rammed. It was yeah, really, really nice. Folk Week, week is good. Top, um, really but really yeah, we're also at the George on the Friday night. We open, open for the George and in the Counting House on the Thursday. Uh, oh, the counting house, that's halfway down, isn't it? On the yeah, left yeah, as you're going down, yeah. They, they yeah. really suit our vibe because it's all like neon lights and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool venue, isn't it? Yeah. The, uh, the counting house. That's brilliant. So that's that. Right, OK, so you bought me and uh, Dave in a gift tonight. We did. Um, very muchly appreciated, yeah, I must admit. Much, so yeah. going on to merchandise, um, you've got merchandise, I take it, that's yeah, on we, up we for have, sale? we have T-shirts, we have uh, mugs, we have uh, shopping bags, tote bags. Uh, Sarah, who is... She's not here tonight, but she's the unofficial fourth member of the band. She makes all the merchandise. She's also, when people are at the gigs, they see a lady with a selfie stick filming us. Um, she uh, she does all of all the videos for us for our social media, and yeah, she's brilliant. She she literally comes to nearly every gig. Uh, brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Sarah. We appreciate you. Yes. Have you got to say hello? I'd say you've mentioned Sarah, so you can't leave anyone else out. Any hellos you want to say? To Just anyone? Like to say hello to everybody that follows us, and you know, uh, we really appreciate. The, uh, the people that follow us, uh, mm. they make it what it is. We just turn up and play what we love to do and they make the night. Uh, we just vibe off of the energy that they, they, they create. Yeah. Like, it, I'll, I'll get punished when I get home if I don't give a shout out to my two little my two little girls, Eve and Abby. I think they're listening tonight. Yeah. So. And I'll give a shout out because I've got literally straight after this, I've got to go straight to work and I work yeah. at Tesco. So everyone at Tesco's, if you are listening on the radio tonight, if the manager actually put you on, then... <laughs> yeah. Big up to you all. Hi, Mum. Working hard. Thank you. Yeah, you can go to bed now, girls. <laughs> I think my, unc my <laughs> uncle might be listening in Australia as well. So that's, well, if he that's is, tell him, we... yeah. tell him to... Uh, well, if you're listening, Unc, if you're listening in uncle Australia... Uncle Martin. Uncle Martin. Where's the uh, Australia concert gigs? Email us at studio at academyfmthanet.com. So, yeah, touring out in Australia would be good. So don't forget me and Dave as guests either. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, we're getting that's 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 But if, a big... Big bonus, you say, obviously, enjoying what you do is a massive bonus, and I love my music anyway, uh, but to be part of a band that you actually love doing the 80s, it, it just takes a little bit of pressure off of you, doesn't it? It's such a fantastic era of, of music, yeah. um, and there's such a variety of music from the 80s, um, and it's a, an era that appeals to all age groups. We, we it have, does, We yeah. have people yeah. who are in their um, 50s, 60s, and we also have you know young 20s, 20 year olds who are really enjoying the music yeah, because it is relatable it's uh, yeah, that's, that's right because you're 60 plus you've got Dave yeah. there so uh, yeah. yeah I'm in my 50s my boy's 27 <laughs> and he loves the 80s so yeah we, we were a, in still in short trousers when we were the 80s I, mean, mm. we, we, I was born in 80 yeah. um, but uh, no it's a, it's a fantastic era of music um, and it, it's got everything that we we have we've got it, they had fantastic synth sounds they had fantastic guitars and, and great clean vocals, which really suits Dane's voice. Oh, looking at your playlist, obviously I can see who your inspirations are quite clearly. Um, yeah, well, what we've got there for the for the rest of the, the show for you to play is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, the last one, I cannot wait to hear you sing that. I'm not going to give anything away, so I'm going to let you introduce that. 
Gentlemen, I'll let you get back into studio too. This is not the end of the conversation. You're more than welcome to come back in, obviously, once you have done a few more songs, if you want to. If you've got any more things you. you want to ask, I'll put out there. So, uh, is that all right if you yeah, feel? I'll get yeah, you to go back into awesome. studio too. Right, that's Neon Rush. I'm going to usher them back into... Well, Dave's going to usher them back into yeah, studio too. Going to play a song, uh, get them set come up, on, and uh, we'll be back with Neon Rush very, very shortly.